Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Season 9 Week 10 challenges that are leaked. We're going to be going through all of them, talking about what you need to do, uh, where you can do them, and like uh, how many battle stars each of them give, and everything like that. Before I get into the video though, I just want to say if you are new to my channel and you want to see more leaks, or daily item shop videos, or just uh, things about the game in general, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Also, when you go join my Discord, follow me on Twitch, and subscribe to my second channel. Links to all three of those will be down in the description below. Also, since these challenges are leaked, um, they're not 100% certain that these will be the exact challenges in uh tomorrow's uh week 10 challenges but i am pretty certain that they are because you know fortnite can change whatever they want up to the last second before the the update actually comes out so just know that i'm pretty sure these are going to be the exact challenges but there is a small chance that epic games could just go in and change them at the last second uh but yeah let's go ahead and get into the challenges so the first challenge we have here is the ones that you have for every single week where you have to complete uh four out of the uh to like four challenges total uh to get the xp reward and obviously for week 10 uh after following the pattern of all the previous weeks uh, you get 10,000 xp for completing f at least four of the challenges so that's really nice if you're not like uh you know if you want to get to level 100 or you're trying to get there that 10,000 xp is gonna help a lot because 10,000 is a pretty good amount all right so the the first real challenge is to use an airstrike in different matches just three different matches that gives you five battle stars i'd recommend just going into like team rumble uh dropping tilted if you don't find one there then uh, just search supply drops because i think you can find them out of supply drops I'm actually not 100% sure, but I think you can. Uh, but, you know, if you drop in and you don't find an uh, uh, airstrike, you know, you can just leave the match, join a new one until you do find an airstrike. Really easy, and that's five battle stars, which is pretty good. The next challenge is to damage opponents with shotguns, so get 500 damage with shotguns. That one's also really easy. Just go into Team Rumble, find a shotgun, and just rush everybody and just, just get as many hits in as possible. 500 isn't that much. It should be pretty easy to do as long as you can uh, land a couple shots. If, if you're not too good with the shotgun, get a comp and kind of sit far away and just kind of snipe at people should be pretty easy the next one is to search seven ammo boxes in a single match uh the way you know they have these as daily challenges also sometimes that you can get randomly the way that i always complete this is to actually go uh to pleasant and try and loot up as many houses you can in pleasant because normally each house in pleasant will have like two uh ammo boxes and uh make sure to drop there in uh team rumble because normally in team rumble people either drop like mega mall or tilted so uh you'll have pretty much pleasant all to yourself if you go into team rumble we'll do that and that one's for 10 battle stars so that's a lot of battle stars um for something that's really easy the next challenge is to visit different public service announcement signs and neo tilted pressure plant in mega mall uh which you have to find five of those so uh i actually don't know where the locations are of these but obviously they're in tilted pressure plant mega mall which i'm guessing they're going to be pretty easy to find because uh if it's a public service announcement, it'll probably be a pretty, like, bright colored sign, kind of, like, with warning symbols, probably. Uh, so it shouldn't be that uh, difficult to find, and, uh, yeah. And that gives uh, five bottle stores, so that's pretty good. The next one is a three-stage uh, challenge, because there's always one of those, at least one of those in every week. The first stage is to collect wood from a pirate ship or a viking ship. The pirate ship is in Lazy Lagoon. The Viking ship is on Viking Mountain over by Snobby Shores, uh, so you can get that really easily. You just collect 100 wood from those, and that gives you two battle stars. The second stage is to collect stone from a fork, a fork, knife, or umbrella. The umbrella is down by uh, where the motel used to be or where the block is now, and the fork and the knife are over by, I think, um, I think it's by Fatal Fields. I'm pretty sure it's by Fatal Fields. Uh, and then the third stage is to collect a metal from a robot factory. And I'm pretty sure the robot factory would be m maybe in pressure plant because they're building the giant robot. I'm not too sure about that. But each of these, you just have to collect 100 wood, 100 stone, 100 metal from each of those different spots. Um, the stage one gives two battle stars. Stage two gives two battle stars. Stage three gives one battle star. So that three stage challenge uh, added up together gives five total battle stars, which is pretty good. And then the next challenge is to eliminate opponents in Pleasant Park or Paradise Palms. That should be really easy. Go into a solo match and drop ple uh, Paradise. That's what I would recommend because a lot more people go Paradise than Pleasant from what I've seen. And that gives 10 battle stars. Or you could just go into a Team Rumble match until uh, Paradise or Pleasant is on the other team side. Which, since they're opposite sides of the map, it should be really easy to do that. And then the last challenge is to damage opponents with a pickaxe. So once again, I'd recommend just going to Team Rumble, just rushing somebody with a pickaxe and just swinging on them. 200 damage is, uh, I think, 20 swings. So if you can get 20 swings in, then you're good to go. And that gives five battle stars. So uh, yeah. And if you're not yet tier 100, this uh, whole week will give you 35 battle stars. And then if there's a secret battle star location, which I'm not aware of yet, uh, that'll get you an extra 10 more battle stars. So you should be able to tier up probably about four or five times uh, throughout 
all these challenges. Uh, so yeah, well anyways guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to drop a like down below if you want to see more of these types of videos. And like I said at the beginning, if you're not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.